Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Now, you do realize this is New Testament. So this is for us. You got that? This isn't for somebody else. This is for us. For he that sows to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. Now, let me ask you, what is the primary easiest way to sow to the flesh or to the Spirit? Words. That's the easiest way. Everything else requires effort, doing something, whatever it is. But you can sit in your chair and sow to the flesh. You can sit in your chair and sow to the Spirit. It's your choice. You get to choose. But know this, whatever you sow to, you will reap from. That's a law. It's in God's Word. It's in the New Testament. It's for us. Whatsoever a man sows, that shall he also reap. That is an immutable law. And what that means is, now the beauty of it is, you get to choose. You get to choose whether you're going to sow to the flesh or sow to the Spirit. And by that, that's just like in the Old Testament when God said, blessing and cursing, death and life, you choose. Choose life. Well, it's the same thing here. You can sow to the Spirit or to the flesh. If you sow to the flesh, you reap corruption. If you sow to the Spirit, you reap life everlasting. Here's a hint. Sow to the Spirit. Amen? Start saying words that bring grace to the hearer, right? That ministers to people, not words that put down, not even if it's a joke, right? Well, I didn't mean it. But then why'd you say it? Well, so you just admitted being a liar. Well, I guess technically, well, the devil's in the details. And he was sitting there and goes, oop, gotcha. Why? Because we, we look at that now like it's okay to say things that are negative about people as a way to say we like them. Now, if that's not messed up, you know the old saying, what, um, send me flowers while I'm alive, right? Don't, don't do it after I'm gone. Why? Because I ain't, you know, if I see them, it's going from a long way up. Amen? So I don't need that. Amen? So if you're going to send flowers, if you're going to speak about people, and if you like people, listen, love and appreciation that is not spoken doesn't exist. Words, good words spoken to people, about people, or let me say it this way, good words about people that are not spoken don't help anybody. Isn't that right? The only words that help are the words you speak either to others about them or to them themselves. So don't wait till they're gone to be called on to give a eulogy. Amen? Speak it now. Speak blessing onto people's lives now. And when you sow blessing into people, when you speak blessing and you're sowing blessing, you're sowing in the spirit. And guess what? Blessing comes back. It is amazing. I have given things to people that I myself wanted. And I wanted it. And, and I gave it away. And guess what? I got a better one. <laughs> and didn't, you know, wasn't even thinking I was sowing when I gave it away. But I still got a better one. Why? Because nothing's missed. God doesn't forget. He doesn't lose his account book. Right? He, nothing you're doing is forgotten. And he's got kind of two lines there, flesh and spirit. And they're both going to return to you what you have sown to. Does that make sense? 